Do you need a cool ass productivity chair without spending too much on a Herman Miller? This is the limited edition Chrome Bridge Starship. Thank you Martian Gear for sending this over. First things first, it is so sleek and minimalist. The red automotive paint provides a nice accent to the all black seat and frame. Unlike the other reviews which you can see on YouTube, this Martian Gear Starship came to me as it is pre-assembled. If you'd like to see the assembly process, you can check out the video done by my friend Techno Babble in the link above. The Starship feels very sturdy. It does not wobble when you move it around. I hear some issues about Ergo Tune's chair being slightly wobbly. I will check that out and let you guys know whether it is so. The frame is very strong to support the user who is sitting on it. I guess it does look like a futuristic Starship with the curved and unique design with the butterfly-ish emblem on the back surrounding the Martian Gear logo. Unfortunately, according to Martian Gear, you cannot change out the logo you see. You can't add your own logo when you buy your own Starship. You see this bunch of wires? All of the Starship's magic happens right over here, which I will get to in a moment. Make sure to stay till the end for this. Okay, first thing, let's recline. How? If you flick this pedal below the left armrest, you will unlock the reclining function. Now you can recline up to 135 degrees. Once you find the angle that you like, you can flick the pedal back and you will lock it in place. To return to the original position, just tilt back and let gravity do all the work. Just take note and try not to tilt beyond 135 degrees. I do not know what will happen and I'm not going to try it. There's a tension level at the bottom for you to set how easy or difficult the tilting will be. If you are someone who likes the rocking motion, you can set the tension to minimum. And likewise, if you prefer a set tilt, you can set the tension to half or full. I think this also applies to the spring back action. If you find it difficult to spring back, just set the tension to minimum. For the armrest, you can swivel it from left to right. You adjust their heights by pressing this silver button. But because of the design, the caveat is there are no height markers. But for what I can feel, there are about 4 height levels which you can choose from. Swiveling can be slightly stiff and requires some force. But Martian Gear says a new set will be slightly stiff. As you continue to work on it, the swiveling will become better. Can't find a good position for your head? You can tilt the main headrest up and down, adjust the head arm up and down. Ugh, it is so stiff also. And you can tilt the head arm back and up. I do not have an Allen key to show you this, but Martian Gear says you will get one when you buy this Starship. Comment down below or what you think about the headrest. Is it as stiff when you buy your own? Let me know. There's also a lumbar support at the back. You can easily reach behind and adjust the height of the lumbar support. I would say it's pretty comfortable even though it looks pretty small from the back. It took me a while to find it for the first time I tried it, but it was all good when I get used to it. That said, I had to make sure I was sitting really straight as I could feel a bit of strain if I were to sit for a long time. I'm not sure if this is because I am used to a shorter chair or it happens when I sit too long. And for the final thing, something's missing. Where's the lever to adjust your chair height? Ah, there's none. Remember the pedal below the left armrest? The one on the right changes your chair height. Flick it and you can go up and down. Uh, yes, one more thing. To add on to your rocking motion, the Starship seat can go back and forth if you press this button on the right hand side. It does get a bit awkward if you are to recline and rock at the same time, but you can do so. Alright, so the main question is where actually buy this much of your Starship? I say I would, if not for the steep price, which is Singapore $900. This is such an awesome chair, it's definitely a great option, great ergonomic option over the gaming chairs from other brands or even themselves. I love this chair, it's very sturdy, it's very great. And I also got my dad who's slightly bigger size than me to try this chair. He also loves it, but there are some things that he prefers, like for example, he wishes to have a longer seat depth. He was also wondering if it's actually worth to spend Naira and Singapore dollars on each gaming chair. If you do, it's going to be a real long-term investment for you. Martian Gear is going to give you 12 years warranty on the frame as well as 5 years on the mesh. So it all boils down the question, will you see yourself actually spending $900 for such a long-term investment? I don't know, maybe uh, Martian Gear plans to sell this to the high-level management of companies and perhaps they are more affordable range for the lower management or those uh, regular workers. So as mentioned, Martian Gear does have a more affordable option called the Martian Gear Starfighter. 
If you'd like me to review the stuff I did, you can also write down in the comments below. Alright, if you like this chair, make sure to use my affiliate link below to purchase this chair. A little cashback helps the channel go a long way. And also, if you like this review, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And in the meantime, you can also watch my review of the Martian Gear Cockpit in the video below. And so with that, hope to see you next video and subscribe for more awesome content. Bye!